foundational sets that I highlighted in my basics video. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use first my flower card stamp here, and I've got a couple colors. This is the number 28 English red, number eight violet, 15 olive green, and 45 sepia. So I'm going to use my sepia first, and I'm going to ink the flower cart stamp. And I am using the Fiskars press here. Line that up. Stamp that down. Okay. Then take your brush and some water. And you want to wipe off the excess water just so you have, um, so it's a little bit damp but not dripping. And then I'm going to just start pulling the color out of the lines with this flower card. Just like this. Now you can see that I'm leaving a highlighted area that's extremely important. That's what makes it look realistic and three dimensional. Okay. So move around here. Hi ladies. Hi. And then I'm going to take my flowers. This is going to be the Daisy Bunch in my flower set. And I'm going to take that and go ahead and ink that with my number 28 English Red. And just start stamping in clusters. So I'm getting that dark to light value, which is extremely important as well. And the same reason, it's for the same reason that the highlight is important in the cart. So we want to make sure we have the lightness fading into the background and the darkness coming forward, okay? And keep going all around here. And I'm going to move down here. And it really doesn't matter where your flowers are. This is just how my garden is growing. Yours is gonna grow differently and that's completely fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp off the excess color. You'll see that I don't really clean my stamps very often. I'll just stamp off the excess color and move on to the next color. So I'm gonna put some purple in here. I think a lot of you red hatters will appreciate these, this color combo. So we'll keep going. This, these colors remind me of royalty. So all around take my brush now, get a little bit of water, and focus on all the purples first. And we're just going to keep moving around here, touching all the purples. And then I'm going to move on to my reds. And you can see I'm still leaving white space inside of these clusters. I don't want to fill in everything. My hand is resting on the table. I'm not poking my image. Now I'm gonna grab my little vine from the foliage set. And I've got this on wood just because I'm using it for demonstration purposes, but it does come on clean cushion. All of these stamps do come on clean cushion, so you will need acrylic blocks with these. Now I'm gonna use my number 15 and just ink the very top half of that vine, just the tip. And I'm gonna come in and just start stamping these all around those little flowers that I put in. Pink that. changing the colors. So just dab those. All right, now we've got something really full. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in my grass. This is again from the foliage set here. A 
color that grass. Number 15, olive green again. I'm gonna walk out this grass. Same way that I showed you in my basics video, you wanna connect every single image there and walk that grass out. So one, two, three, four, five, and walk out that grass. Take your brush, wipe off the excess water, and start pulling out the ink. I just, I'm free with it, I go for it. I really like to exaggerate my grass. So you can do yours however you want to. I like mine to look kind of wild. And then I'm gonna take my sepia and I'm gonna color onto my palette. You can see I've got a lot of colors on here. Take that sepia and right at the base of that grass, I'm gonna put in that sepia color bring it all the way around to the other side. And that just gives us a nice grounded look. And then we'll go ahead and put some sky up in the top. I colored on here the same way I used colored on the sepia. This is the AI palette. This is awesome. And I put a little blue blob in and then I dilute out the edges and disperse that color. So watercolor is such a suggestion of something. It doesn't need to be quite so literal all the time. So I just do a little bit of that sky. I have no need to pull it all the way across because that's really just gonna make it look flat. So now we'll take our little flowers. This is in the flower set here. I'm going to take just that very edge of that flower, teeny tiny flowers, and just put them all into my grassy areas. However you want to do this. And maybe I'll put some up in here too, like they crept up into the main cart. Go ahead and just add a teeny bit of water to those. Just dabbing, dabbing the same way. All right? And then we'll take our little detailed tip of number eight violet. And I'm just gonna put little dots all around here. I love that look, I think it's so cute. Kind of add adds a whimsical vibe to this. All right, and then assign your work. Before I finish, I want to put a little bit of the Wink of Stella on here. I just love that Wink of Stella. You can see that shimmer, and it just adds another element to this little cart. All right, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Thank you to everyone who came to creating keepsakes. We had so much fun. So that is our flower cart. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everybody for coming to visit us in Manchester, New Hampshire. Once again, this is Kendra Krebs with Art Impressions Rubber Stamps and Watercolor with Kendra. If you liked this video, please subscribe below and like and comment if, if we met here and you want to say hi and reconnect, please comment below. If you have questions or comments, please let me know your questions. I would love to get those answered. So thank you. See you soon. Bye.